is, has any of you been on whitewater rafting? Excellent. This is gray water floating. <laughs> what you see is what you're going to get. This is a glaciated river. Right here, it joins a clear water stream. This water comes from a glacier. Glaciers, ice, cold, right? Yes. Number one hazard here is cold water. No swimming. Do I have everybody's attention? We all got that agreement. You go swimming, it's hell for us. Now, the nature of the river is it's got gravel in it. It's shallow. Shallow water is good news for eagles, bad news for salmon. The salmon are coming up river, they get stuck. Well, pretty much obvious. If the salmon gets stuck, we're going the other way. Guess what? We're probably going to get temporarily detained is a euphemism we use. When that happens, audience participation, we're going to ask you to do the chill cat shuffle. Let's bounce up and down on the rubber baby buggy bumper boat. God, I said <laughs> um, I want you to bounce on the tubes. If you do it in unison, it lifts the boat miraculously out of the water and goes to another channel. That doesn't work. Plan B is the guy to get out. Grunt, groan. <laughs> You'll hear some words. Okay? We call that a tractor pull. If that doesn't work, you might be a volunteer. Okay? Please, if we ask you to help, listen to what we say, because we know. These boots are wonderful. The design defect is right in the top. It's got a hole. <laughs> Wet feet are our unhappy campers. We don't want any unhappy campers. Now, that probably will happen. It's not, if we say get back in the boat, the boat's leaving, okay? <laughs> and we'll have another trip here about three o'clock in the afternoon. Now, um, always listen to what we say. We're gonna, we know we've been here for how many years? Dozens, right, okay. We also will say a couple other commands. One of them will be, will be bump. That's not too unusual. We'll do some banging into the bank, maybe into a tree. And if we say bump, well, kind of just get ready. When you rode that pony as a kid, you always post it up before you got to the jump. That's because you didn't want to go out of the boat. We will say duck, expletive deleted, duck. That means we're going under a tree. Didn't you tell the kids, a stick in the eye is bad, right? So if we say duck, I don't want you in the bottom of this boat. And, then don't, and be quick. And don't be grabbing the damn tree when it go by, because then you are going swimming. That's bad. All right. So if we say duck, it's because we're going under a tree or a branch usually. And it's no big deal. It happens every once in a while. Now, the other thing I might in that whitewater business, we had a command called high side, very, very high pitched. High side, damn it! No, because the boat was going up, and you want to be on the dry side of the boat. We might say that if we have a stump or a log in the river, and we go up on it. I've given that command once in 22 years, and I did get wet. Right. Now, swimming. I made the announcement earlier that your, sw your ship, the Seven Seas Navigator, has a wonderful swimming pool. The water's probably warm. This is not warm water, so no swimming. If you do go swimming, roll over on your back, look around for eagles, let us know. You know, because you could just kind of float away and that'd be bad again. But you um, do not ever swim towards trees. Trees are bad because they get stuck under them. So that's pretty much what we got, except one last difficult thing. More problems here than anywhere else. Getting in and out of a rubber baby buggy bumper boat. We do it. Anybody from Texas? I can't believe it. I can scarce. Oh, you maybe you're just not old. Oh, okay. I was born in okay, you're born in Texas. All right. Well, that's not good enough. If you do the <laughs> Texas two-step into a raft or a small boat or a canoe, the canoe raft is going to go swinging out in the river. Three things are going to happen. You're going to split your pants. You're going to fall in the water, we've already talked about that, and you're going to look stupid. So we don't want to do that. So sit and spin are the two words you have to learn. You got that? Sit and spin. Sit down on a tube, put one leg in, put the other leg in. 33 live worm bodies? 31 plus 2. Okay, that means we've got five boats. There'll be mostly six with one set. We had one group of four from Chile. Any other groups, large groups? Yeah, four. Four? Well, that's easy to deal with. 
get together with somebody else. Now I'll introduce myself again, Nelbert. This knucklehead is CP, right? And over here, this young dude who's actually a graduate. Ben is a graduate. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Sonny, you're number three, right? Sonny. He's our, he's our Rastafarian. And um, Ben's a graduate of Haynes High School. And bringing us up in the back, weighing in at 133 pounds, wrestler is Andrew. Do not arm wrestle him. So we're going to go down the river beyond the river about an hour and a half, and you get your shoes back. Okay, let's get going.